okay, we're going to look for constant proportionality from tables. And this is going to seem very familiar. Now, we've already looked at tables earlier, so we know how tables work. We know how to see if it's proportional. But did you know we already know what the constant of proportionality is? Now, remember, the constant of proportionality is a unit rate. So the constant proportionality equals y over x. What we do is we do y divided by x. So I'm going to start with the easiest one. 90 divided by 2. So k equals 90 divided by 2. Well, what's 90 divided by 2? It's 45. But what does this 45 mean? It's miles per hour. So that's 45 miles in one hour. So you're going 45 miles per hour. Now, if we were to do the other ones, we could select any of these and divide them. We'd still get the same thing. It's a constant of proportionality. So all of these will come out 45 miles per hour. If we wanted to write an equation, we'd write y equals 45x. That would be a great equation for it. So constant proportionality in a table is just doing y divided by x, the same thing we did on graphs. Here's another example. Now we look at this and there's x and y. Sometimes these won't be there. You can write those on, on there yourself. So y divided by x, so we got k equals y divided by x. And we're going to do, in this case, let's pick this one right here. I think it's a pretty easy one, or maybe even this one over here. So if we did the first one, it would be 48 divided by 4. So k equals 48 divided by 4. And we get, well, let's see, that would be 12. So k equals 12. We could do the same thing with either of the other sets of number. This one is easy to see. 120 divided by 10 is 12. So what does this represent? 12. And this is going to be miles, because y was miles, per one hour. So we're going 12 miles an hour, which isn't very fast. So that's the constant of proportionality, 12, and what it means is 12 miles per hour.